how did he come up with all that shit then? And he <laughs> just wait a minute. Wait. Five hundred million for five yeah. years. And he talks. Yeah, no question. Cash. No financial instruments, no wire transfer, no cashier's checks, cash, all of it. I want you to be ready to set up shop within a week. Yeah. Holy Christ. Marty, when I drive by your house, there better be a for sale sign on your lawn. Okay, I'm detective whoever the fuck, and you're the wife of the top money launderer for the second largest drug cartel in Mexico. Go. The kids and I are in danger. Huh? What, what do you want to hear, you know? People who drive trucks full of cash. I'm gonna try to pull together $8 million to pay back what Bruce stole. What, what we're do, not gonna do, 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 we, do, do we even have is, that much? Well, it's gonna be tight. We're gonna call your friend Linda, the realtor, and we're gonna list the house. And then you're gonna call the moving company. But we're a family, so we are, we are making this move as a family. We would prefer if you would. Your children, See, you'll do as you're told. Yeah, well, thanks for the eggs and the shit sandwich. If the Show money. Spooking, you're less slide it in the mutual funds. No, I'll be back in six months with twice the money. I'm not explaining myself correctly. By the end of business today, you're going to have close to $8 million in four separate accounts at your bank. And I suspect that that puts you in a woefully undercapitalized position relative to your obligations. This isn't. Hey, Brenda. Oh. Um, yeah. Do you need help with something? This firm has been dissolved, unfortunately. You know. You were great. All the way through. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> Run for your life kind of leaving or a witness kind of. protection situation? Everything's on the table. Holy shit. Primary color. His name's Gary Silverberg. He's a partner with McNeil Roberts downtown. He sees your wife at least twice a week. Some private detective. I was wrong. Either his place or somewhere closer to yours. New IDs, social security numbers, credit cards, you could do it. For a while, running? then your money would run out. One of your kids will get online sloppy, Twitter, Instagram. You could keep your identity. Leave the country, go somewhere with no extradition to the U.S. Really depends on who's looking for you and how much money they have. I just got a text from my bank. My wife emptied our checkings and savings. She may know what he does, but I don't think she's quite aware of who these people are. 22 years, never cheated, not once. I will lower it up, I will dig in. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that, that felt so real. Don't go up there. Why does Wendy have a cashier's check for $29,650, Marty? He's gone. She was running. Or I take care of our Wendy problem. Yeah. Right here. Right now. What should my father do? Your father? How about oh. Aunt Carlota? A story. You never answered my question. Fire her. That's what I said. Why? It's not the first time she stole from you. What was it? <laughs> it's the first time you caught her. <laughs> You've got some fucking explaining to do. Can, Can I get you a cup of coffee? No, thank you. Am I under duress? No. Uh, what are you doing? They think no, there's been no stop that. You think someone's been kidnapped? Been kidnapped. There's no business opportunities that require that much cash. Yeah, there are. Not legal ones. Well, yes, I agree are. to disagree. There's two federal agents here, which means you wouldn't take the chance that there was a kidnapping and not have my money. So if you don't produce it immediately, I'm going to walk into that lobby and I'm going to tell these people that I can't get my money out. And if I want to put all $7,945,400 into a hot tub, get buck naked, and play Scrooge McDuck, <laughs> that is 100% my, my business. business. Now, where's my money? That's when the Lake of the Ozarks was built, 1929. Did you know all that? You're Marty Bird. Marty Bird has been playing this for a long time. Yeah. Now, I want you to take my 7973000 with you to Missouri. Oh. And clean it. Clean it? Mm hmm that's, that's clean. I have to see that you can do it. I'm uh, torn, Marty. Right. Between intrigue and thinking this whole Ozark thing is complete and utter straw grasping bullshit. Are you trying to fuck me? 
won't have to kill you. Where's my five million dollars? And Bruce and the Hanson kid took eight. Hmm. I was fishing. Yeah. I didn't know they stole a damn thing. And you killed Liz on a hunch. On a tail. You want to keep trying? No. Possible he ran, changed his mind, took his chippy, and left the country. Agent Petty, I think we got him all. Lodell was our end. You heard him. He would have been a fantastic government witness. Del Rio, Navarro, the cartel. Del Rio. Why, why would we do all this if Bruce was just entertaining? What's Bruce's part? Where is Martin Bird? I love the sinister feel to this. It's like an opening one hour episode. So much has happened. You don't get very many premiere opening episodes to a series. It was this good. Okay, that was the premiere opening episode of Ozark. And in case you didn't hear what I said right at the end of the commentary there, I will say it again. You do not might get many opening episodes and introductions to a series that good. I was transfixed, glued to the screen. I, I was... There were certain points where I forgot that I was reacting to it because I was so in the zone with it, you know? And I forgot to have that light on the whole episode. <laughs> um, just so much happened. I've tried to make a mental note as to a few names. Not all of them yet, but give me time. It is only the only opening episode. So, he's been laundering money with his partner for over 10 years by the sound of it. He made out that his wife knew nothing. That's a lie she does, but I don't think from what I've gathered, she knows all of the details. Why would she? And this guy just shows up in town out of nowhere, this Del Rio... What name? Del Rio. <laughs> um, fishing. But he says he was just fishing. Why would you just at some point after 10 years just turn up off on the off chance to think somebody might be going missing? You need to have already established and had some sort of indicator that your money's down or there's, there's stuff going on or there's stuff missing. So he says he may have been fishing, but he must have some sort of inclination. Otherwise, what, why after 10 years would he just call them all out on it? The problem being, Marty didn't have a damn clue. He seems very astute, very intelligent, very articulate. The guy's got a pair of fucking balls on him. I'll say that because he still speaks his mind, regardless of the situation, and with a goddamn gun to his head. And most of us would be pissing in our pants. But he'd no clue. And then his partner, Bruce, spilled the beans. What did he say they were doing? That because they're trans su transporting such volumes of money, they're not, <laughs> they're not counting it. <clears throat> it's done as a measurement of volume and weight. Just like in Breaking Bad. And they were tampering with the, what did he say, the um, fuel gauges to make it five gallons short. So five gallon volume converted into weight, converted into how much that would be in cash. What did he say it was? It's just, just like eight, what he owes him, eight million over. I can't remember how many years he said though. Two years, three years, I can't remember. Um... And him giving him that brochure is the only thing that kind of saved him and his family. He had something to reference 
with a gun to his head. Most of us couldn't have come up with that, but he did. And I thought he wasn't buying it. But when you say 500 million hours, and then it gave the flashback of him thinking he, he was going to die, and then you hear him go, 500 million? You're like, yeah, that's, that's, those numbers are talking, right? So he's got himself a, a parade for now, and he's, him and his wife and his family. She tried to fucking screw him in more ways than one. She was already banging that lawyer, barrister, whatever, accountant, whoever he was. And I don't understand why, because her husband, Marty, is like, what, in his 40s, mid-40s? That guy looked about 70. What the fuck's going on now? What kind of twisted shit was that? Or was it just someone different? So, and obviously someone also with money. So she'd been found out in the worst possible way ever. The, the scene that did it for me, I was kind of expecting it to kick off and the guy start shooting people when he was questioning them. Um, and when they were putting them in the barrels, we know how all that works after watching Breaking Bad once again. But the one that really <laughs> shocked me was when he was arguing with himself in his own mind when he thought she was going to screw him over and he's just walking across the street to go and confront her at this accountant guy's apartment and then <laughs> so I thought made you jump <laughs> it was so real it was so real I lifted off I felt myself actually lift off the chair because I have it quite loud um <laughs> What you do when something like that happens and it would be bad enough if that's just an innocent bystander and you've nothing to do with it that would shock you but when you know exactly who it is what it is why it is who's just done it and where it's just come from you could see his mind just like i'm just gonna turn the fuck around and get back in the car <laughs> but it gave him the truth about the story of the girl who stole from his father i'd fire her it's not the first time she stole from you. It's the first time you've caught her. And that's what all this is. That that was just a, a, f a fabulous opening episode. So he's agreed to come down here now to the Ozarks. And make him 500 million in three years? How the hell does that work? I, I've no clue. I, I am completely intrigued as to how this is going to go but first he said he's got 48 hours to leave which he's done and then he said you've got to give him my money which he did the bank scene was brilliant because banks are bastards with this well it may be your money and that's what it says in your account but we don't actually have that amount fuck off sorry no no, 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 no if it's my money and I want to take it out and I'm giving you the required amount of notice to take it out, you will have it there. And then when he turns up, they still think he's um, being kidnapped or something. I mean, I get that because it's a lot of money. He's not drawing out 300 quid, is he? He's drawing out a million. But you can't stop him. Minus any withdrawal, early withdrawal fees or whatever. And he's asked him to relaunder that down here because he thinks this is all bullshit. He wants to see if what you've promised at gunpoint is actually doable or whether you were just reaching because under normal circumstances most people would just be reaching but if this guy has been laundering for him for 10 years obviously for 10 years everything's gone perfectly smoothly apart from what his partner was doing what an opening episode wow right i think i'll leave it at that and I will be back with episode two next week. Um, like I said, this is the first of two new series that we're doing in July. The other series is going to be coming up very shortly. Um, I'm not going to mention what it is just yet. Leave it as a bit of a surprise for you. Let me know what you thought about the opening episode to this down in the comments. Because that was as impactful as Breaking Bad, Fringe, The 100, 
various series, but in particular, it's it's very similar, or it's, it seems to have started off very similar as Breaking Bad. And though that in, in particular, when I saw the opening episode of that, sparked my interest immediately. Not just, oh, it's one of these, it's one of those. This, this overwhelming. Um, and I've, I've watched this actor, what's he called, J- Jason Bateman? I've watched this actor and a few other things. I didn't know he was capable of that, I'll be honest. If it's more of this, bring it on. Right, don't forget, this will be available on Patreon if you want to watch it in full length, which I suggest you do to appreciate just how good that opening episode was. I will put the link down in the description for you guys. It will also be available over on Odyssey and YouTube once the edited versions are ready. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe and like, because this looks like it's going to be a very good series. Okay, guys, see you for the next one very soon. Take care. Don't.